You want to get into virtual reality as well now and you're wondering which one to get, the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Rift. Both are priced at $399 and you're not exactly sure what the differences are. Now in this video I'm going to exactly tell you what the differences are and which of the two headsets is most probably the right one for you. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ahn. And if this is your first time here, and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So you want to buy either the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Rift S. Now both are priced at $399 and you're wondering what the differences are. Now let me tell you, most importantly, the Oculus Quest is a so-called standalone VR headset, which means you do not need a computer to run it. And for the Rift S, it is a PC VR headset, which is tethered to your gaming computer. So for this, you will need a gaming computer. That is the fundamental difference. But let's go into the details for each of the headsets and let's start with the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest is the device that the VR world is most excited about and that is for a good reason. First of all, it's a standalone device, which means you do not need a gaming PC. You do not need a gaming console. You do not need a phone, which you would have to slide into the device. Nothing. The device stands for its own and that is really amazing for an asking price of $300 and $99. So you simply buy the device and you get everything you need in order to delve into virtual reality. Being a standalone device means that you're not tethered to the computer via a cable. So another great selling point of the Quest is that it's actually completely wireless. And this wireless freedom is absolutely amazing in virtual reality because you don't have to worry about the cable. So this is truly great. Another great thing as compared to the Oculus Go, which was the first standalone headset from Oculus, is that it now supports six degrees of freedom tracking for both the headset as well as the two controllers. Six degrees of freedom tracking means that you cannot only look around in virtual reality. This is like three degrees of freedom. You can also move within virtual reality, like for example, duck. And all these movements will be represented within virtual reality, which makes for a much more immersive virtual reality experience. In terms of visuals, the Oculus Quest also shines with its great 1600 times 1440 pixel per eye OLED display. Because OLED is being used, the blacks are really perfectly black and the colors pop. Especially the dark blacks are great for people who love horror games or space games. Now let's talk about the drawbacks of the Oculus Quest. So since it's a mobile device, it is powered by battery. And of course, the battery is being drained the longer you play. And at one point, you will have to recharge it. For the Rift S, you won't need to do that. And we're going to talk about the Rift S a bit more later. Also, since it's not powered by a strong gaming PC, you will not be able to play all the games that are available on the PC VR system like the Rift S. So everything is being powered by a mobile Qualcomm processor, which is powerful, but not as powerful as a gaming PC. However, most the most important games are there Beat Saber, Rec Room, VR Chat, and lots of others. So for most players, the most important games are there. And I believe the selection is really amazing already. To sum it up, the Oculus Quest is an amazing VR headset that I can recommend to everyone who wants to get into VR, but also to those people who are already in VR, but who want to get rid of the wires. So now let's talk about the Rift S. The Rift S is also a great headset. However, it is not a standalone headset. It is a PC VR headset. And that means it's tethered to your gaming PC via a cable. So first of all, you will need a gaming PC. 
Now, that does come with some advantages. The games that you can play with the Rift S will be more beautiful in terms of visuals, simply because your computer, your gaming PC can render more beautiful scenes than the mobile processor in the Oculus Quest can do. So, for example, you will be able to play more meaty games, like, for example, Skyrim or Stormland or Asgard's Wrath, games that are not available for the Oculus Quest. Also, since the Rift S is tethered to your computer via cable, it does not run on batteries, which means you can play for hours and hours and hours without having to worry about the battery. So that is definitely an advantage as well. Also, in terms of tracking, there's a little difference between both of the headsets. First of all, both of the headsets use the so-called inside-out tracking, which means cameras track the surroundings and are responsible for tracking the device. So you do not need to set up base stations as you had to do with the original Rift, for example. So that is very convenient. Now, the difference is that the Rift S is using five cameras as compared to the Oculus Quest, which is using only four cameras to make this tracking happen. Actually, both trackings work perfectly. However, with the fifth camera on the top for the Rift S, it will even be more accurate for games that have you use the controller on the top of your head, like for example, the Climb. As what the visuals are concerned, the Rift S looks great. You only have a resolution of 1280 times 1440 pixel per eye, which is a little bit less than that of the Oculus Quest. However, it employs a different kind of technology to show the pixels. For the Rift S, it uses the so-called RGB stripe matrix, where each pixel is displayed by three subpixels. For the Quest, it is so-called pentile, where each pixel is being shown by two subpixels. So even the resolution is a bit lower than with the Quest, still the visuals look fantastic and even better than the visuals in the Oculus Quest because, well, the computer, the gaming PC is responsible for rendering the scenes and since there's more resources with gaming PCs as compared to the mobile processor, the scenes look better and the games can look much better on the Rift S. Now, unfortunately, the Rift S is using an LCD panel, which means that the blacks won't be as black as those blacks in the Oculus Quest. Also, there is no manual IPD adjustments. So if you have an IPD, an interpopular distance that is much bigger or much smaller than the average IPD of 64 millimeters, you will run into problems and therefore probably you should look for another PC VR headset if you are into playing the PC VR games. The good thing is that there is no shortage of other great PC VR headsets on the market that you can look into if you want to get a PC VR headset. For example, have a look at the great Samsung Odyssey Plus. So to sum it all up, the Oculus Quest should be an amazing choice for most of you. It's a standalone headset, which means you do not need a gaming PC. You get great visuals. You have the most amazing games on the platform and it's even wireless. For the Rift S, it's a great choice as well if you have a gaming PC and if you want to play the more meaty games that simply need more resources in order to run well, like, for example, Skyrim and Stormland. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And if you have any more questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to answer them for you. And now I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.